Hello YouTube, this is Lord Time Ward, LT for short. I'm a new motor vlogger from upstate New York, Rochester to be exact, and I'm uh, going to contribute my little piece of the pie to the uh, internet and uh, my shenanigans and my likes and dislikes. Figured I'd bring you guys along for the ride. I'm uh, finally uh, worthy <laughs> with uh, the camera I got. Picked up a Drift Ghost S, finally. And uh, this is going to be my initial shakedown run. Seeing how it's going to perform. And I already can tell you right now that uh, I love the Drift Remote. So I know I'm actually recording. And uh, looks like uh, I'm getting left behind by this light here. So I just missed a cycle. So I'm from uh, Rochester, New York, born and raised in this area. Rochester is uh, located uh, uh, in the middle of the state, in between uh, Buffalo and uh, uh, Syracuse. If you looked at uh, Lake Ontario on the map, at the bottom middle of Lake Ontario, you'd see a good-sized divot, and that divot around Decoy Bay, which is uh, just northeast of Rochester, to give you an idea of uh, where I'm located. Uh, today is April 13th, going into April 14th, I believe, if uh, I remember my uh, calendar. And today it actually got up to 80 degrees here in uh, New York State. Two days ago, it was 22 degrees. So we finally, uh, looks like we broke that cold snap. And uh, we look to be hopefully warming up here. Just got the motorcycle out of my uh, brother's garage today. And uh, fired her up. Good to go. And uh, taking her on her initial shakedown run, along with the drift, hoping that uh, I can get some good uh, nighttime footage here. See how the drift does. Now, I did make uh, one video earlier, and the camera was catching my tank bag my triple clamp and my gauges and as I look towards the horizon the road and the horizon uh, met with the top of the screen or the camera's uh, field of view and uh, I wanted the camera up a little bit so I moved the camera up one notch and I'm hoping that uh, it still catches a decent view of the instrument cluster but uh, more of the road down further ahead, you know, beyond a quarter of a mile or so, beyond an eighth, you know, to a quarter and a half. So I checked my, uh, some test footage I made real quick earlier, and I'm uh, going out again to reconfirm. So, uh, give me a minute here, and I'll give you some background about me. I am uh, 39 years old, born and raised in uh, western New York, and I like it up here with the change of the seasons and whatnot, uh, although uh, it does uh, you know, it does stink having to put a motorcycle away for the winter time. It is nice to have the snow for ice fishing and snowboarding and stuff like that, although I don't really snowboard that much anymore. They, uh, but the uh, best part about uh, living up here, beyond the change of the seasons, is uh, the moderate riding season. Uh, during the you know uh, bulk of the riding season, uh, it's mellow temperatures up here, so you know you can gear up uh, and not uh, you know roast to death like you do down south. Right now, I'm uh, it's. Uh, 
It's actually still kind of warm outside. It's uh, about 72 degrees Fahrenheit. And uh, I'm wearing my uh, weather jacket and gloves. I got my HGV Sport uh, racing jacket on. And I uh, got my uh, Tour Master, uh, or not Tour Master, Cortec Adrenaline gloves on. And uh, I'm perfectly fine here scooting along. Got all the vents open. Uh, up here in New York, most of us, uh, like Defobra and Notorious Bunny and a couple others, we ride until generally is there's ice on the road. Uh, as soon as, as soon as they got the forecast for ice, well, we're off the road for obvious reasons. Me, uh, you can add salt to that list. I don't want to get salt on my motorcycle, so I wait until the salt's washed off with the spring rains, which was just in the last week. And then I uh, then I get the bike out. Same thing uh, for putting it away for the winter. As soon as uh, the, the snow's coming, usually like the first snow that happens, uh, the next few days I'll put the bike away for the winter. I uh, rode until the second week of December last year. And when I rode the last day going into work, it was uh, 22 degrees Fahrenheit going into work, and it was uh, 29 coming home. And uh, that was <laughs> that was enough without heated grips or anything else to keep me warm with trucks. Yeah, you know, that, uh, that was a cold ride. The uh, that, that was pushing it, but uh, I, I try to you know I don't want to put the motorcycle away at the end of the season because for me I'm lucky if I get you know six solid months in up here, maybe seven, but it's it's different and I don't. Really, uh, you know, I see a lot of vloggers on YouTube that mainly only vlog during the day. Uh, there are some exceptions. Uh, Dark Flight, he does a lot of night vlogging. A um, couple others that uh, I can think of. Let's see, uh, Chase. Chase does some night vlogging uh, a little bit. Um, I know there's a couple others, uh, but the bulk of the vloggers only uh, vlog during the day. And I can't believe that, you know, they... They don't ride at night. I mean, uh, maybe it's because I'm a shift worker and I work rotating shifts. You know, I have all, all different hours of the day that I'll be riding. So I'll, you know, when I ride, it's like I ride. So testing this setup and seeing how we do on the, you know, those, these short twisties uh, in the particular area where I'm at, uh, I'm kind of on a personal mission to find all of the best riding roads in Western New York within, you know, an hour and a half or so of my home. And the bulk of the roads right around my home, you know, they're not twisty at all. This road I'm riding here is a, uh, is definitely the exception to the roads. You see I'm riding up. I'm gonna get a nice, good sweeping right here that's kind of tight. And then it's gonna go to a nice lot. And this area up here is, right by a park so a lot of people during the daytime you know this is all clogged with cars and you can't go through here very fast uh, you know and because uh, there are cars in the way and this yeah, speed limit is you know ridiculously low which uh, you know most people ignore anyways you know reasonable and prudent that's what I go by I don't care what the sign says I go reasonable and prudent for the most part uh, anybody that's been to Rochester New York We'll know that uh, we have uh, two seasons up here, winter and construction. Since winter has ended, construction season has started. Um, there used to be a t-shirt that was sold here in Rochester by the Chamber of Commerce, and it was titled, I Survived Route 104 in Rochester, New York. And it shows Route 104, and it shows a guy with a monster pickup truck coming out of a pothole that's as big as his pickup truck. Now, the shirt was, you know, a little bit of an exaggeration, but not by much. Um, the biggest pothole that I have personally hit in this town was approximately nine and three quarter inches deep by about 15 inches round. And it went down through three layers of pavement. It was so deep that when I went and hit it with my Ninja 500 and didn't see it, I blew up my front fork seals. <laughs> And amazingly, I didn't go over the bars and I didn't dump it. I managed to keep the bike up. 
I still to this day do not know how I managed to do that. But that is just the norm around here. You, you, you'll have perfectly smooth roads like you're seeing right now with, uh, with tar snakes. We got lots of tar snakes up here. But then you, it'll be followed by five miles of horrible pavement. And uh, I'm going to end this segment right here and bring it up because I believe I'm getting uh, close to my time limit. So I will do a quick little burst of acceleration here for you ladies and gents. Not this nice little twisty piece of road. And then I'll stop the video and restart the road.